It's Monday the 1st of June and today is the start of Volunteers Week. Hi, I'm Alistair McCapra. I'm Chief Executive of the Chartered Institute of Public Relations and I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of our members who actively volunteer for their professional community. Some people hold elected positions as president or members of our board of directors or council. Others are chairs or committee members for our groups, delivering services to members by region, by specialism, by nation. We also have panels undertaking specialist research in topics such as artificial intelligence, uh, influencer marketing, or the energy sector. We have others judging for our awards or serving on the editorial board of Influence magazine. All of these different parts of the organisation are made up of members contributing their time and expertise to make a better environment for other members. Our volunteers are our strength. Since coronavirus hit, that strength has come to the fore in ways that have been truly awesome. 50 of our fellows have volunteered to offer mentoring to less experienced colleagues through our new progress scheme. Our health group has worked with the iProvision Benevolent Fund to provide a new mental health helpline. Our local public services group has created an online hub of resources for public sector comms professionals. Our inside group has produced guidance on how to communicate in times of crisis and this guidance has now been hosted on the CBI website and shared with thousands of businesses. Our groups have all quickly switched from organising face-to-face events to holding online drinks, holding roundtable discussions and moving swiftly to providing services virtually. Most of all, it has been wonderful to see members reach out and offer help to each other because the CIPR isn't just a professional body, it's a personal network. People have been able to share their fears, offer reassurance, encourage others when they've been struggling and seek help from others when they needed it. Everyone has pulled together to make the CIPR and its membership more relevant than ever before. We had intended 2020 to be the year of the volunteer and we were going to hold our first ever volunteer conference in March to bring all these wonderful people together. Sadly, our volunteer conference was the first thing that had to be rescheduled when we went into lockdown. We are still committed to holding it at some point in the future, but exactly when that will be, we can't say for the time being. For every member of staff working for the CIPR, there are 12 volunteers. Without those volunteers, the CIPR simply couldn't function. And all of us are very proud to work with all of you. Many of the staff are also volunteers themselves for a whole range of different causes. So we know what it takes and we know how rewarding it can be. So to all of our volunteers, thank you for all you do. And to everyone else, if you've never volunteered for the CIPR before and want to join this amazing crew, send me a direct message on Twitter or contact me on LinkedIn and we'll find you a place to get involved. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's John Gurlis here, CIPR's PR and Policy Manager. This Volunteers Week, I want to say a huge thank you to all the volunteers who give their time for the profession and for the Institute. It's hugely appreciated. It's an absolute pleasure to work with you and to learn from you all. So this Volunteers Week, enjoy a bit of praise and a bit of attention yourselves. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Take care. Hi everyone, it's National Volunteers Week. So I wanted to take a moment to say a really big thank you to all of our volunteers at the CIPR. The work that you do so passionately makes such a difference to CIPR members everywhere. We love working with you. You're an extension of our team and we couldn't do what we do at the CIPR without all of you. Hi everyone, I wanted to say thanks to everyone who volunteers for the CIPR uh, on behalf of the membership team. It's much appreciated. Everything that you do really makes a big difference to our members. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. Keep doing what you do.